Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are doing well. So today is video number 68 and I'm going to share about routes navigation between pages and links in react.js guys this is uh, one of the important topic while if you are going to learn about the routes because uh, when you click on one button it actually need to navigate to another page but right now the problem is that we are doing all the stuff manually so before that if you have not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe to my channel the channel name is Amir Parvez I have uploaded almost 60 videos on react just complete course and also if you miss anything while uh, performing the exercises you can download the source code from github slash Amir Parvez slash react JS complete course so let's get started guys so now you can see here there is a problem the problem is that I need to manually write then in my previous video I created this routes and you can watch my previous video to understand the concepts of route and how we have actually installed and set up so now you can see I need to manually change the URL and it navigates to another page and um, I think this is the wrong approach we need to add some button once we click on that button it actually needs to navigate to that particular page so let's get started so now I'm going to say that if on the home page if I go there and I, am, I need to so go to about us and I'm going to say anchor href and here I need to pass the URL so I'm going to say about us great and I'm going to close this anchor tag and I'm going to say about us page something like this about us page okay cool guys so once I click on this href it is it will take us to about us page so let's see how it works okay good so now I can see, uh, okay, I need to add this thing in on the home page actually. Okay, so now if I go there, if I click here, it will take me to the uh, about us page. It looks good, but I go back and again I click here. You, you need to notice one thing. If I click here, it actually refresh that page, which is wrong because uh, actually what is happening a ref actually have problem it refresh the complete page and reason is that technically we are sending a new request so you know when we are sending the new request it is something like we are reloading the javascript and we are also reloading the entire react application which we need to avoid actually because again and again if we reload our javascripts and react application it is going to uh, show the performance of the application a little bit slow which we just discussed in our previous video so what we need to do we we need to actually stop doing the refreshing of page so let's prevent it from uh, reloading it so what I need to do here uh, react actually uh, react uh, router dome actually introduces one library component that is a link and actually a link is very helpful let I'm going to show you how so now I'm insist of anchor tag I'm going to use link and href I'm going to remove it and I need to use two here and pass link here so what actually links will do now it will not refresh the page and it will stop us from sending the HTTP new request so let's see it links we get the link from the react router DOM and then link does render the actually the component ARF. Let, let me just show you what is actually happening on the back end. Yeah, so you can see here if I go and inspect element, and now you can see it, it actually renders the ARF element, which is fine. And, the, and it actually listens the request from on when we click on this, and this anchor element actually prevent the browser to default send the default HTTP request which is a great feature introduced by the react routers and if we click on it uh, once the router finishes it actually change the URL and once the router finishing uh, changing the URL it is going to update the page accordingly and update the appropriate component which was requested in in that particular routes so let me see that if I click here now you can see the page doesn't get refreshed so this is the power of the links and react routes so let me go on this page also and add anchor tag here and here I will say I'm going to home page it will take me to the home page but I need to import the this link from the react router library 
okay cool so now let's go and check this out so now you can see here the url but if i click here it changes the url and also it load the appropriate component which needs to be load on that particular link so if i go again click here it will take me to this url url gets changed components get uh, once the url finishes its work then router what it will do it will actually reload the component without actually refreshing the page and also re it doesn't reload the javascript and also react project so thank you very much guys i hope you understand this project and keep watching my videos keep subscribing and support me in in all this thing because i'm doing all for all of you so also don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and share with your friends